So I'm sitting here uh, under a tree in the Colorado backcountry while it rains out from underneath the tree. Uh, and I'm going to just talk really quickly about uh, something that I always had in mind when I designed the ute but have never really talked about. Uh, and that's basically, you can strip the thing down and turn it into a four and a half pound pack. Uh, and this happens to be a V2 U where we added the top po pocket, uh, which for me really made it uh, uh, much more useful in terms of not needing a back pocket. Um, but you know, V1, V2, I think the V1 is a little bit lighter anyway. So if you have a V1 stripped down, it weighs less. But uh, there's really not a whole lot to stripping it down. Uh, first thing you do is remove the plastic frame sheet uh, that rides behind the stays here. Um, that basically, if you know how to pack, you're not going get, to be getting poked in the back, but that's there uh, for packing oddly shaped items. But, you know, if you're really only carrying backpacking gear, sustainment gear, uh, and nothing strange, th that's just fine, and that loses six ounces. Uh, next thing I did was stripped all of the compression straps off, uh, just completely removed them with the exception of the top straps here. Um, and that removed... Uh, 14 ounces uh, and then I replaced them with cord lacing all the way up the side like so I start at the very bottom and just run it all the way up the side the first time I saw that on a pack was uh, the North Face Snow Leopard I can't believe I still remember that name but like in 88 or something it was a blue pack and they used yellow uh, uh, four mil accessory cord, I think it was. So it was very striking looking, but uh, that accessory cord didn't run very well. This runs very well to compress your pack. You just pick it up by the cord lacing on each side and that cinches it down and you tighten these up and you know, you've got a nice compressed load. Um, and then these uh, uh, trekking pole holders, uh, these are the, the bottom loops that are meant to go out to either the prairie belt or even just to this tab. Um, and I just shoved the the um, tip in there, and then I repurposed um, the uh, uh, the accessory straps from my shoulder harness. Uh, just two of them to just create a girth hitch here um, through this top loop, so I can fasten the top of it. And all of that uh, gives you a ute that's four and a half pounds, which of course is not the lightest pack in the world. I mean, it's not an ultra light pack, but I guarantee you it's going to carry you know, even a 20 or 30 pound load way more comfortably than any ultralight pack and still your pack weight is not that high. Of course, everything's a trade-off. I found some hunter's garbage here, uh, pretty decent sized tarp that I'm gonna need to pack out of here. And of course, now I don't have my nice straps to so just shove it underneath there, but I've got enough length in the top straps. I'm gonna just be able to go up with it and throw it into the top strap and still have my wind cheater on top. And um, so I do have a little bit of extra capacity, but uh, you know, not as much as I normally would. So that is the, uh, the stripped down ute, not ultra light, but certainly lightweight and extremely capable.